The School of Aerospace and Mechanical Engineering has lots of amazing opportunities. Aerospace field is growing significantly in Oklahoma, and so there are a lot of opportunities for students that go into that field to immediately gain employment upon graduation. And then mechanical engineering is incredibly broad. I always tell students that with a mechanical engineering degree, you can go work anywhere that technical work is being done. And our programs here at OU, in addition to giving you that foundational knowledge that you need to operate in that field, give you so many additional opportunities to have experiential learning, whether it's in the laboratory classes, in the capstone courses, in the extracurricular activities like the competition teams, or even something like undergraduate research where a student will work with an individual faculty member on a research project. They're getting many opportunities to practice engineering while they're in school so that when they graduate, they have a lot of true-to-life work experiences that they can draw on as they enter the workforce. There is no way you can deliver some concept information without the lab, without the hands-on experience. That's why in my department, we have a lot of lab spaces. We have lab hours even required for students to have this hands-on experience. Textbook knowledge is essential, but students at the end have to know how to use them in real life, right? So the, this hands-on life experience really is just simulating what's going to happen in the reality. So they can use what they learned in the classroom on the textbook and apply them in the reality before they actually graduate. The capstone program for mechanical engineering involves industry-sponsored projects. So we go out to companies local and regional and ask them to sponsor a project, bring us an idea, uh, something that would be suitable for a group of entry-level engineers along with funds to support that project and they will come from any industry because mechanical engineering is really broad. So we'll have things like aerospace industry, oil and gas industry, biomedical applications, thermal fluids projects, manufacturing and machine design. And in their final semester, the students are basically given this project and asked to operate as an independent engineering team where they self-organize, identify roles and responsibilities. They set deadlines and goals for themselves for throughout the semester. And then the biggest part of it is applying the knowledge that they've developed throughout the rest of their school towards this real life project. One of the things that I see at OU that really stands apart is their devotion and focus on providing as many experiential learning opportunities as possible. A lot of schools will offer them, but I don't think anybody supports them at the level that OU does. I think the engineering practice facility is an excellent testament to that, where that building is almost exclusively focused on student extracurricular learning and hands-on experiences. You're not going to find many spaces on a college campus that are exclusively focused on extracurricular activities like this for engineering students. They have a vested interest in making sure that the students are not only gaining the technical skills in the classroom that will be necessary for professional life, but also all of these other skills that just add to their abilities when they graduate.